Does artificial intelligence understand aviation? Well, today we're gonna to find out. I'm gonna be designing some aircraft using AI text to image generators. Also, I want you to stick around to the end. There's gonna be a quiz to see if you can determine what phrases I use to create some of these funky looking airplane designs. All right, first things first, every single image you see in this video was generated by an AI text to image generator. Sometimes it does a really good job and sometimes it's Salvador Dali on an acid trip. I spent the entire week researching AI image generation to learn how it works. It's incredibly complex. Uh, I watched a ton of videos to try to educate myself on how it works. I might have dozed off uh, a couple of times while trying to learn about this. What I learned was AI doesn't just take your text and go do a Google search to find an image and then try to kind of rebuild that image. It actually has databases full of billions of images and it looks at the data that makes up the individual pixels and tries to pick up patterns. Then it tries to recreate those patterns from all the combinations of images it finds. And sometimes it does a pretty good job, sometimes it doesn't. There's some concepts that it doesn't get. Uh, if you have something that's sort of broad and simple, like a cat in a field flying a kite. There we go, we got a cat, we have something that looks like a kite, it's definitely in a field, it can do that. When you try to do things that are a little more specific or not as well known, it kind of messes up. We're gonna go ahead and start with people. For example, if it's a really, really well-known person, the patterns are gonna be similar and they're gonna repeat a lot and AI is gonna do a good job of being able to regenerate an image of that person. Harrison Ford, very well known, probably a million pictures of him out there. It does a really good job of creating a picture of Harrison Ford. This was generated with a text to image generator. Captain Joe. Captain Joe is a YouTube pilot. He's a real pilot, he's a YouTube pilot, with millions of subscribers. So he's well known, but not certainly not as well known as, as Harrison Ford. And so it's done its best. It doesn't look anything like Captain Joe, but if, if we get a little bit lower on the well-known scale, it just kind of gets worse. Uh, Mike Patey, if you're a pilot, you probably know who Mike Patey is. That's not, that doesn't resemble or look like Mike Patey. There's nothing Mike Patey about that. Um, but who knows, that's, that's what happened. Um, I decided to go ahead and put in my flight instructor, who's not really well known at all. Her name's Christy Wong. Uh, it did the best it could. Um, we have a hand leg, a leg that turns into a hand. Uh, and then I, I, um, I, put, I put me in there. So um, my name's Brian, uh, there's Turner, and I guess there's probably a million people with my name out there, and I guess one plays basketball and tennis and baseball and has an extremely elongated torso. So, uh, so the less well-known something gets, the more it just kind of guesses and you end up with something like this. AI does really well if you mix simple concepts. For example, if I wanna see a picture of a giraffe on fire playing in the snow, that's a giraffe on fire playing in the snow. If I want to see a skydiver with a jellyfish for a parachute, that's a really, well, the jellyfish parachute looks pretty good. The skydivers, do they both have two heads? I don't know what's going on there. It's, it's, but you can, you can see it kind of got what I was, I was going after. If I want to see a hippopotamus on a trampoline, look at that. It's a hippopotamus, two of them on a, on a trampoline. Uh, sometimes it's pretty good. Sometimes it can be a little more hit or miss. There's some some other creatures that are made out of hippopotamus material, it seems, and then a, a zombie uh, down by the edge of the trampoline. But uh, with these concepts, it, it does pretty well. Now, if I tell it, I want to see a Cessna 172, this is what it gives me. I, it, obviously, it knows there's wings, there's a tail, there's an unfortunate tail number. It's got windows. So the components are there, but it doesn't seem to know how to assemble it. So throughout this experiment, what I learned was when it comes to actual airplanes, every AI text to image generator I used was an utter failure to the point of comedy, which is why we're all here. Uh, so let's take a look at a few of the airplanes that I asked these uh, AI image generators to make and just laugh along with me. Boeing 747. I mean, it kind of, there's, there's definitely Boeing 747 components. There's three 747s. There's no symmetry or anything, you know, there's enough parts here to make a Boeing 747, I'll agree with that. Piper Cub. So you could probably guess that I told this that I wanted to see a Piper Cub. It's yellow and it has some cub-like components. The other thing worth pointing out is it will never draw the same thing twice. So once again, we have a cub-like structure. Uh, it's got wheels and wings and it's yellow. And not only will it not draw the same thing twice, I mean, it's, it's not even close. This one, also cub-like. 
Uh, I think this is like infinite monkeys with infinite typewriters. If we did this long enough, it might eventually create the perfect Piper Cub. AI is pretty literal, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. So I say I want to see a drone pilot, and I get this. If I looked at this photo, I would say that's a drone pilot. But the fact that it's literal is not always a good thing. Uh, if I ask for it to show me an image of a bush pilot, I get a pilot with a literal bush on his head. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's a really well-known group of pilots that call themselves the Flying Cowboys. When I plug that into AI, I get um, cowboys on horses with wings flying. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to try it again. All right, I get a literal flying, falling, floating cowboy. Uh, so it does take what you say literally. Patty Wagstaff. All right, that looks nothing like Patty Wagstaff. I've met her a handful of times. She does have two fully functioning arms, neither of which are protruding from her neck. All right. Wing walker. Okay, we definitely have wings and we definitely have a person on the outside of the airplane, which is where you would find a wing walker. None of this looks plausible or, or safe in any way. Wing walker, Texas Ranger. All right, I mean, yeah, it's, let's, let's try it again. Wing walker, Texas Ranger. I mean, it's not, it's not wrong. Uh, we definitely have what looks like Walker, t anyway, you know. All right, so if we zoom out and get a lot broader, we get uh, better renders. So this was skydivers. Looks like a couple of people who've jumped out of a plane, but if I want to get more specific. Woman jumping from an airplane. I mean, it's a woman. Uh, she's missing part of her arm and she has three legs. She's definitely falling or floating or something and there's, plane-like structures behind her, so it's, it's trying. Um, I, think, I think it's a hilarious picture. Um, yeah. All right, just for fun, we're gonna do something a little kind of more specific. So in aviation, there's what's called the five hazardous attitudes. If you're not into aviation and you stumbled across this video, uh, there's five attitudes that will basically get you killed if you don't keep yourself in check. Uh, so let's, uh, let's ask AI to identify these ha hazardous attitudes. Macho pilot. Spot on. That's that's a macho pilot. Um, this this man is definitely a macho. He's definitely. Um, I don't know if it's two pairs of sunglasses. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to say yes. That's a macho pilot or one of the village people. Uh, it's a great mustache. Anti-authority pilot. Anti-authority. Uh, yeah. I I mean I don't know who he's battling, but he has definitely converted one of his arms into some sort of flamethrower, which I I'm gonna I guess he's gonna aim it at an authority figure. Invulnerability pilot. Invulnerability, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, he's probably at a, some sort of suit of armor. I don't know, that one's kind of boring. Resignation pilot. All right, so the resignation pilot, the resignation, I guess he's given up, he put on a space suit and jumped out and gave up. It's important to point out that I'm saying pilot on all these because if I just say resignation, you get whatever the heck that is, I have no clue. Uh, so you do have to be a little bit specific with it. Impulsivity pilot. All right, impulsivity, that was the last hazardous attitude. I don't even know what. I can tell it's tried to spell a word. Um, as I stated before, it picks up patterns. Letters have definite patterns that are recurring, but words may not. So it tries to create a word. It creates letters, but it, it usually fails at actual words. All right, so let's step back a little bit and uh, be a little bit more broad. Flight instructor. All right, that looks like a flight instructor. He's got a, a parts of a... Cirrus behind him or something. He's got some sort of clipboard and uh, I don't know, some kind of flying uniform. I'll buy it, I'll buy it. Student pilot. All right, this one might be the most accurate. This is exactly what we all looked like as student pilots, uh, holding up whatever certificate we just earned in front of. That is definitely the first plane we all learned to fly in. Some uh, 1950s cobbled together Cessna look at, this is accurate. This one's spot on, AI's getting smarter. All right, I told you guys we were gonna take a quiz and after that we'll make some more airplanes and we'll wrap it up. So, uh, what I've been doing with my Patreons for the last two weeks is playing this game called Guess the, guess the Phrase, Guess the Airplane, whatever. Um, I've been uploading these images uh, to my Patreon folks and challenging them to try to guess what phrase I stated to generate that image and so we're gonna do the same thing right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an image uh, and I would like you to, I don't know, attempt to guess what it is, if that means pausing it uh, and typing in the comments as we go and then resuming. That, that would be awesome. Or if you wanna just watch and kinda of guess along, or if at the end you wanna go in the comments and let me know which ones you got right or how many you got right, I think it would be great. So please um, get active in the comments. I'm very curious to see 
I know what I said to trigger these images, so it's really easy for me to go, yeah, that's that thing. Um, you guys let me know in the comments, okay? We'll go, uh, there's, there's five or six of these, let's go. Who is this famous aviator? I feel like this should be an easy one. And again, I don't know if that's because I generated it, uh, but I feel like it should be pretty simple. So, um, all right, who is it? Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart, does that look like, I mean, maybe just because it's black and white and it's a female and she's got that hat, I don't know the face. I couldn't even tell you what Amelia Earhart really looks like. All right, what movie title did I say in order to generate this image right here? I also feel like this one should be easy just because of one specific component. So uh, what movie do you guys think this is? Iron Eagle. Iron Eagle. I don't know about the iron part, but that's definitely eagles. So um, I guess it, it didn't put an anvil in an eagle, so it knew at some point there were humans involved. So it's eh, kind of. All right, this one's an airplane. I just said the, the, the make and model of an airplane, and uh, this is what it spit out. What do you guys think uh, I said? What phrase generated this aircraft? Cessna 182. I mean, it's a high wing. Uh, well, it's two. It's it's a high wing and another kind of half a high wing. Sometimes it generates multiple planes. I don't know why, but anyway, that's your that's your Cessna 182. All right, two more to go. What famous pilot is this? I felt like this one was super easy, but again, I don't know if it's just because it's black and white. It doesn't it kind of resembles who? Chuck Yeager. So maybe if I look at it now, I might have said Jimmy Stewart just because it's black and white. It's an older man, and uh, when we're talking about a pilot, he's got some scary teeth. Uh, does it? Maybe if Jimmy Stewart and Chuck Yeager morphed into to one person. All right, last one. What movie title did I say to generate this image? And you have to be specific. I know you guys are thinking, and you're wondering if it's one or the other. Top Gun Maverick. All right, yes, that was Top Gun Maverick. Um, and what's interesting is when I did Top Gun with no Maverick, this is what I got. So uh, we definitely have military jets. They're not, I mean, it does not know how to build an airplane, but it certainly knows that airplanes have these parts. All right, guys, so let me know in the comments how you did. I'm very curious to see how many of those you guys got right. Um, and then if you're wondering, the app I'm using to generate these images from text is called Wonder AI. Uh, I downloaded it on my Android. It's not super cheap, it's like $5 a week, but there's a three day free trial. So I'm gonna play with it for a little bit more before I cancel it. Um, and if you want, I'm gonna be posting some of these things over on my Instagram account. So if you guys wanna jump over there and try to guess what I'm posting up there, um, I'll, let, I'll put some images up, let them run for a couple of days in the comments, I'll let you know what I typed. But uh, go, go over to Instagram and uh, follow along and uh, I'm gonna play with this for a little while. All right, everybody, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching, sharing the videos. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you to the Patreons who've been putting up with my guest the airplane phrase for the last couple of weeks. I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, thanks, everyone. Y'all fly smart, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.